Hello, this is Zeke777, and welcome to Episode 8 of Arcane Revolution. Today, ore processing. We're actually going to do it. Bye. So, what is this monstrosity of cobblestone and bricks here? Well, I rearranged some stuff. Um, it's now facing this direction instead of the other. And I spent a whole lot of time, like probably several hours, uh, trying to figure out how I could set up redstone with ember stuff so I won't be wasting the embers. And then I found out, while it works, yay, cool, it's also completely useless. Yeah. So before I tear it all down, I do at least want to go through it and show how it works. So basically, my thought was, according to the book here, wherever it is, um, according to the book, any extra embers that come into the ember receptor will go to waste. So it just keeps going in, keeps pumping in, keeps pumping in, and just every single burst that goes in goes to waste. Uh, yeah, so I figure, well, let's stick an ember dial in here, and turns out it works with comparators. So, ember comparator, this reads that level and turns it into redstone signal. That goes into a redstone wire connector, which bounces all the way up there. And we go back to that. So that one's orange. And similarly on the stamper, this one over here is magenta. So let's pop upstairs here. Um, and this is where it goes to. So this comes up here, bounces off this one here, goes over to the distribution to this thing here. This comparator reads that, and it says, oh, you're currently at 16. So here it's set for 15, or maybe it's 15 and 14. Don't really know, but it's down by one. Um, so basically when it is less than that, so if I put it up here, I guess it'll always be on now because it's completely full anyway. Um, but basically, if it was lower than the level emitted here, the comparator here would turn off, which would turn on this redstone torch. Redstone torch is read by this redstone wire connector, which then turns on and off our ember emitters. All good. It, uh, it all works. It works exactly as intended. It stops it around like 7,600 instead of 8,000, and it works perfectly. The thing is, it's not necessary. Um, in the current version of Embers Rekindled, version 1.9, I think it's Hotfix 4 is what I'm on right now, um, you'll see I have Ember in here right now. If I break this connector, and I just stick a redstone torch on here, like it, or a, a, a lever like it'd normally be, let's turn you on, cool, nothing's happening. Yeah, turns out Embers Rekindled 1.9 changes it so it doesn't actually waste behavior because that's wasteful. Um, it doesn't waste any Embers, it just goes until it's full. It fills up the receptor, which can hold, I think, 2,000 anyway. Um, but this is on. This should be sending. This guy has embers, and it doesn't send it down there. So all this redstone, yep, don't need it. This whole uh, scaffolding up here that I was working on, useless. Many hours, gone. Yep, unneeded. Cool. But also saves me in resources, because now I don't have to set up all the stuff up. So between episodes, I'd kind of planned on setting up one redstone instance here, and then figuring out how to apply it to the rest of it. But since I don't need any of this, we can tear it all down. One thing that I did learn about the redstone wire connectors, though, is shifting shift right click is supposed to change through the channels, but you'll notice it's not actually doing anything. That's because I have something in my offhand. If I take that out, right click, now it'll change. Another thing that I did between episodes is I built this. This is the pressure refinery. As opposed to the ember activator that I had before, this one here, if I mouse over the ember dial here, it says production multiplier times three. That's because I have a copper block and lava underneath it. Um, basically, it has extra heat, takes a little bit of water, and then turns into more ember. So if I take, um, let's take an ember shard, just one, toss you in there, and we will toss one in this one as well. Can I just right click with that? Nope, need a hopper. Let me get a hopper. Okay, got myself a hopper, I'll toss it right here. If I put a single ember shard in this one here, that will quickly burn down, and we'll get once it's done uh, filling up here, because there's 200 space up top here, and then there's 200 left, so that gets me 400. And similarly, this one over here, 200 up top, and 1,000. So literally, same cost, water's free. And yes, to quote my enthusiastic two-year-old, ta-da, this one here has 1,200 in it, and this one here has 400, three times, for pretty much the same cost. Well, it has been around about a week since we've been able to record. In fact, if I look at the timestamp of the last uh, clip there, that was, I think, eight days ago. So, yeah, I haven't been able to record much, but I've been able to get a little bit done off camera, mostly in the mornings before work. So if we come over here, I've got things half set up. It, it looks like they're set up, but they're not really. Um, so here is the design. Originally, this is going to be level with the ground. I decided I want it to be lowered. Um, that way I can kind of oversee everything without it being uh, kind of in your face. And I think I like this design better. Um, and then I built a bunch of these conveyor belts, which are going to just pull out of the bins. 
Uh, that way it can be on the same level instead of using a hopper, which is why it was up so high before, is because the hopper has to be below the bin to pick things out of the bin, and it's just a hassle. But this works. So, like I said, it's only halfway done, though. Um, we still don't have automated or going into anything here, and I don't have any of the uh, ember distribution going on. And the reason for that is I can't. Um, in order to do that, I want to use a crystal cell, which is a level above a regular copper cell here, and that uses Dawnstone. So the question is, what is Dawnstone and how do I get it? Well, it's a mixture. It is an alloy between copper and gold. So what I've set up is kind of like before with the melter and the stamper and all that stuff. Instead, I have in the middle here a mixer centrifuge. So how do we make this thing work? Well, mixer centrifuge in the middle there. We have an ember receptor on top, and then that goes to the stamper kind of like the melters. You pump the molten copper and molten gold into the bottom part here, and then molten uh, dawnstone comes out the top. But everything needs ember as usual. So we need to bind everything up. So let's grab this guy. And you go through that one. And you go to this one. So those need a signal. Do I have a lever on me? Let me go grab a lever. Alrighty, made ourselves a lever. Let's toss it on here. I'll probably turn that later, but that one will power both of those, which will power the melter and the stamper. Now I also need, let's see, I need one, two, actually I can probably put one lever in the middle here. So I need two more levers, and I need a whole lot more ember. So that's going to keep melting down for a little bit, and let me go get more levers. Should have thought of that. Yeah, um, more levers, and then combine it all together. Okay, levers are in place. Let's go ahead and bind these together. Now the middle one, I think I can do like this if I... Do that, that should reach around. Awesome, that works, cool. Um, I don't have I don't have any ember going to this one yet because I still only have one, uh, one relay over here which is routing it. We'll have to fix that. But like I said, I need the, uh, let's grab, oh, I don't I need to grab this one first. Um, I don't have the Dawnstone yet. So once I get that, then I can get the copper cell or the crystal cell rather, and then I'll be able to actually set up proper distribution. So grab this one and let's set this one up over here. Uh, I will say that the uh, jump boost here, really helpful. Um, having an elytra or something would be much handier though. So that's going there, that should, that's not bound up anywhere. Right. Um, okay, so let's go here. You get this one. You get this one. And you get that one. It's kind of cool looking. I like all the uh, ember flying around. Uh, once this place is actually running full production, then this is going to be kind of cool looking here. Probably extremely laggy too, but it'll look cool. So that's always a plus. Um, so we have our ember going in everywhere. Everywhere has a little bit. Here's a zombie. Everywhere has a little bit of ember, so now we can start actually processing. So what I did is I got just uh, 12 copper and 12 gold here, and we're just going to place it in. Copper in that one, gold in this one. I don't really have proper layout for this yet and we want to turn you off and you off as well so that should melt down and not flow into here in fact let's get out our little viewer thingy what are you called here we go tinker's lens so everything should be flowing properly uh, this won't show me the level of things but I think that's fine do I need another lever I need another lever um, you can go here so if I turn that on That should be working. Um, ah, yes. You need a lever. And you need a lever. Turn you on, turn you on. So that will pump copper and gold into centrifuge. That should start melting it down. Yes, maybe. There we go. Yes, Dawnstone. Dawnstone is forming. And... I forgot my plate. Still listen. So yes, each of these will require a bar stamp, so I need to actually make all those. But, there we go, first on stone, and that just flowed into there. Um, one thing, it looks like the immersive engineering belts here are, they did fix it, so now it won't steal it with my green magnetization, which is awesome, which means I don't need to do solignolias everywhere. But yes, on stone, pouring in. Sweet, we can start work on the next part of this. And like I said, the next thing on our list is the crystal cell. This takes a block of Dawnstone, so it's still not quite enough yet. Um, two Dawnstone plates, which are real simple. Um, oh, I could do that for only one. 
<laughs> we might do that later. For now, I'm just going to be wasteful and use uh, four ingots to make the two plates. But crystal cell. And the reason for this guy is you can actually attach a thing on here to be able to make it spread to multiple items. Uh, the reason for that is I have eight copper cells up here. And I only have one beam of ember coming in. So I'd like to send that to one copper cell and then have that distribute to the eight cells. Alrighty, so all of our dawnstone smelted up is now yet another day later. Um, we have ourselves a crystal cell. So like I said, recipe on this, real simple once you have the materials. Dawnstone block is the most expensive. And then crystal is more dawnstone, copper, whatever. Easy. Uh, crystal cell. So, it took me a little bit to figure out how to use this. Um, let's jump up here. And crystal cell I'm going to put right here. It is kind of a cool, not exactly multi-block, because it's only one block to actually place it. Um, you have this floating crystal in the middle, which basically is storing your ember. Um, you can add more ember shards to this, which will then increase the maximum capacity. I think if I place a dial on here, it holds 64,000, just on its own. So that's going to expand quite a bit when we're done. Um, these guys, in comparison, hold, I think, 24,000. Yes. So it holds, to start with, just a little bit more, but it'll hold a lot more later because you can expand it. Next up, how do we use this thing? So, let's break down some of the sand here because it's just to uh, be able to prop that up higher. Um, we're going to place a mechanical core right in the middle. So if we take our Tinker Lens, actually let's break that first. Tinker's Lens, you can actually look at things. It says it takes ember in, or ember items in. It takes ember and has a machine accessor slot. So let's place a mechanical core here, which then if I look at this again, you can see it pretty much just bumped it down one. So that makes it more accessible. So now let's take our machine accessors, which are real simple to make. Kamenite, iron, and iron. Uh, the other ones take a little bit more. It's a, uh, uh, let's see, lead plate and a compass and more iron. But yeah, just materials, we have them all, so whatever. Now, here's the deal. I got eight of these cells, right? And I need to figure out how to split this up. So I can place down these guys here, and I'm thinking one here and one on this side. And that will kind of open up. It's kind of hard to walk around here. Um, that gets me one slot here, one slot here. So I can again look at this. It takes ember and ember. Um, and machine access or slot. I wonder if I can put another one down here. I think I tried that earlier and it crashed on me. But um, yeah, so we've got uh, this here. I'm going to place another one down below. I feel like I wanted that to look different. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, so if we put another one here, so we need to sort out all these things. We need emitters, we need receptors, and we need levers. So I need four on this side, and I've got three at least. If I put one here, 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 that would work, but levers would be kind of obnoxious. Let's see what that looks like. So emitter, 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 and emitter. And let's take levers. So the thing is that these each need redstone signals in. So if I place one here, that will power this one and that one. Same with you, same thing. So that works, and let's jump up top here and place another on top. That's kind of, actually I might do, hmm. I think if I place it here, then this one will be blocked, maybe. Let's actually find out. So if I place you here, turn you on and turn you on, turn you on, nothing's going anywhere, that's fine. Let's take our hammer, and unfortunately I think most of these are probably full already. Hmm. Are you full? Where is my dial? Here we go. So if I take a dial, you can hold more. Okay, so you can hold more, so let's try it on this other side. So lever here, um, and let's link you to you. So we'll turn you on, Turn you on as well, doesn't really matter. Um, we need ember to come in. So I'm thinking if we put ember receptor on this side here, that should work. So let's take you and let's go hook that up. I think I'm out of ember over here, so bind that. You are empty. Cool. Let's take, I think I have some on me. Let's see, we'll grab a couple crystals. Yeah, that's fine. Crystals go in. How much water? 7,000? Okay. So that's filling up. These are both bound to the relay here, which is then sending it over to this guy. So let's jump back up here and grab our dial. You are full. I know that much. So if we look at this, you're filling up, right? 
possibly. Maybe, maybe not. If I place you here, you are you are filling. Okay, good. And you are able to send there. Interesting. Okay, so that that actually works. Now the reason is I, I could have placed it on top here, but I need to figure out a roof for this as well. And I'm thinking I'm gonna start with just slabs around the edge for that, so I kinda wanna have blocks available. Anyway, so we got all these things here. Let me bind this all together. Okay, so we got ember flying all over the place here. We've got these two here are the two side ones. This one is bound to that right there, and this one is bound to this bottom one here, which is also, I believe, full. Yes, you're full. So that is all working. Um, I guess we just do the same thing on this side. So we've got one here, one here, one here. We'll place another accessor, 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 here, and another emitter there. So let's take our levers. I guess if I place one here, we said that was fine, that worked before. And if I do here, that should power both of those. Yes, maybe. Um, let's go ahead and bind things together. So we've got you go to you, you go to you, um, you I think can go to there, other way around, shift click this one, click this one. Okay, so we've got embers going to these two. You are not getting any, neither are you. But that might be because we only have two things of ember coming in. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and see how this settles out. It should start sending ember to everything. You're not full, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna just fill up for a little bit. Ah, it helps to actually turn levers on. So turn you on should work there. You should be sending it to here. Are you not, you should not be full. Let's try turning off other things just to see how this works. Turn you off. Turn you off, turn you off, everything's off except for this one. You're getting ember. And you are not. You. To you. Is that too far? That may not be able to reach actually. Um, that didn't work. Okay, let me see if I can switch some things around here a little bit. Hmm, so it looks like this isn't actually sending it. If I turn you on, these guys are happy. I think my machine accessor here is set up incorrectly. Let's see if that works, because now it has the whole face. So that maybe is what I needed. Let's take our lever, stick you on the side here again, and let's try binding you to you. Turn you on, you're both working. Turn you on, you're both working. Okay, so all four of those work. And on this side, I believe the same thing. I don't need you anymore. I do need you on and you are on. Okay, so everything is on. These guys are already full. So I think main ember storage for our smelting area is completed. Um, I do need to figure out a better system than this. As cool as it looks. Um, I know that there's a thing in here, the ember funnel and ember something else um, that can do much faster throughput. So that might be what I go with. Ember ejector, I think is what it is. Um, I might switch over to that, but for now we'll see how this goes just on its own. But I think that works. So let's figure out what we can do with our ores. Okay, so all the ember is going into these copper cells, which is lay, which is really nice, but it doesn't do anything. Now, did I actually bind you guys? I did not. Okay, so lots of random binding here. I think you went to this one. You went to this one. Now, my plan originally was to have one per ore, and I... Th I keep going back and forth on do I want to do that or do I want to do some sort of round robin distribution? I need to figure that out. But for now, I know I'm going to have this set up like this. Um, you do not have a receptor. I think I stole yours and I stole yours. So, shift click, click, shift click, click. And throw a lever on here. Those both work. Okay, you had some and then you stopped. Um, I think I just need a whole lot more ember in the system for this to be filling up. But I think that should be working. Do I have a dial on me? Nope. You have some ember, so let's steal you. And let's double check that this guy over here is working properly. You have no ember. Why do you have no ember? Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, I think it's just that I need a whole lot more ember 
total in here. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of just waiting for that to work and fill up. Uh, I think once it's filled, then it should be pretty good because it won't be using a whole lot at a time. Yeah, this thing is pretty much empty. Keeps changing, so it is registering, but it is pretty much empty. So yeah, um, gonna let that sit, like I said, and bind all of these connectors. So one thing I might actually do here, and it'll be pretty much completely unnecessary, um, I have all that uh, redstone wiring that I was using before for my uh, kind of like setup system there or whatever. Um, and I might, for no real reason, hook up all of these guys, all these emitters, to a system like that. Because, like I said, not really needed, but it would be kind of cool to be able to just turn on and off the entire system all at once. Um, all levers are down, which means they're all on. Okay, so everything should be enabled and Ember should be going to all of these things. Um, now, none of this has a whole lot of ember because we don't have a whole lot coming in yet, but I think that is pretty much working. Um, do I want wires? I kind of want wires. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, last couple here. Output and output. So I've got this all wired to one little connector over here, which is an input. And let's see if this works. It should work. If I turn you on... You're not getting anything. Why are you not? You are probably still empty. Okay, well, we'll turn it off again, like I said. Um, I'm going to let that charge up my system here, because, uh, like I said, these all have a whole lot of storage, and it's taken a whole lot to fill it up. So that's going to sit, but I believe that should be working now. Um, the only thing is that these guys don't have a nice connection to it. Um, I could do it, but no, because I still need to get power down there. Um, I, think, I think wires look cool. We'll go with wires. I like wires. Um, and then it then lets me have just one little connector over here, turn it on and off, and it's all happy. So that, like I said, that's going to fill up, and let's figure out our ore situation. Alrighty, so I think what I'm going to do is this one right here, which I've currently used for Dawnstone, I think I am going to get rid of it, actually. Um, I'll probably have just a separate building for doing alloying, as well as I think there's some alchemy stuff you can do here. Um, so I think I'm going to move that to that building. Yeah, I think we can move that there. Um, the reason for that is then what I can do is just do round robin distribution. Um, then I don't have to do worry about filtering. I don't have to worry about anything else. Um, and also, main thing for that is uh, with this guy here, the way it's currently set up is it will only make Dawnstone if I have copper and gold in here. Now, if all my copper and gold is turned into copper and gold over in storage, then it's never going to make Dawnstone, which is not ideal um, without doing some weird like routing stuff and logic system in here and I kind of want this just to be clean so that being said this guy's gonna go away um, and I can also then break these guys here that's fine um, but my question now is do I want to use things like conveyor belts which look cool why are you not an arcane block do I have an arcane brick on me I don't I need to replace that um, so I can use conveyor belts which look cool um, and maybe do like something along the back wall here or and I think I might go with this one instead use embers own item sorting system um, or its item pipes at least not the sorting uh, the reason for that is it's actually extremely quick um, from what I've seen at least for a short range it seems to be really quick so what I can do is have one chest probably right here in the middle and I'll run one line that way one line that way and really just branch off onto here so if I take my tinkers lens again so, okay, the bottom uses ember and machine accessor, um, but up here, it has the items coming in and the fluid, and the yeah, items going in, fluid going out. So that all is up here. So that means I'll probably have pipes. Do I have any pipes on me? Probably not. I do not, know. Um, so in that case, I can just have the pipes run into the top here, and I think that'll work. Let me go get some pipes. All right, just refilled our ember, so let's go ahead, place down a chest. And this will probably be a uh, ender chest, actually, but we'll see how it works. So if we go, let's go to this side. Let's take our, oh, need to make it still. Let's run over here. Um, we need item pipe, item pipe, a caminite plate in the middle, and two pieces of redstone, I believe, is the recipe. Yep, item extractor. So for now, we're going to try it on just one side, and then later we'll probably bump it up to the top, but we'll see how this works. Uh, so you go here, and let's do something like, let's come over here. Um, now a question is whether or not this will branch properly. So if I can go like this, I guess. Let's see what that does. So place you here, there, and last one. There we go. 
Okay, so let's see if this works. Um, here we go, here we go. Let's grab half stack of iron. So throw this in here and a lever on top. Here's a zombie somewhere. Anything happening? Do you have anything in here? I don't see any smoke. You have smoke, you're working. Which ones are working? Okay, and you are not getting anything. Do you not have ember? That's probably what it is. Because I think, no, nope, there's no iron in there. Okay. So this is probably empty, yeah, because it takes it real quick. But only the two side ones are working. That's interesting. Where'd you come from? No, I heard you, but whatever. Um, okay, so that is not going in here or here, which is, like I said, it's really interesting that it goes to the end points. Hmm. Okay, so not exactly ideal. It is still uh, sending it just to the outside ones. Um, I wonder if I were to go and move things back a block or so. So if I move it to go instead of kind of passing over that so it's still an endpoint. Let's see, did I place one? Don't need one there. So if I go here, see if that does anything. So break you, break you, you and you. And just go along the back wall here. That might work. Might not do anything. Okay. So those are all hooked up. Kind of a weird uh, reverse fork type thing. Um, let's go here. Throw you in. See how quick that goes? Let's see what's working. So if I go on here. You have ore. Let's see. You still do not. You still do not. And you do. So let's take that out again. Interesting. It's like instead of it going to the closest one first, it goes to the farthest one. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna see if this works if I move it up top, and then these should all be roughly the same distance away. So do I have my iron on me still? Let's throw the iron in and turn you on. Now that, you're working, you're working. You guys are both working, yes? This might actually... I think that worked. I heard four. One, two, three, four. One more, two. I'm not seeing this hit. One. It's only doing three. Why are you, you're not working I think because I see ore in here, but I think it just doesn't have, uh, I think it doesn't have any ember in here. Okay, so that seems to work really well for splitting it between four, so I think if I just mirror on the other side, I should be able to get it going through all eight, so that should work. I'm actually really happy with the way that those pipes work for moving things. Um, the next thing that I need though is I need another couple more of those extracting conveyor belts. So I need sticks and I need cloth. It's kind of an annoying recipe to make. Um, let's grab the rest of you as well. Um, cause it's like, uh, if I hit U on this, the extracting conveyor belt needs these iron mechanical components and strip curtains. This just needs iron and the, uh, cloth, whatever. And then these, this guy here, it's actually not too bad. Iron plates and copper. So that's, that's actually doable. Uh, let me make a bunch of those. Alrighty. So I just turned on the ember up above there. So that should be filling in everywhere. And let's go ahead, take our conveyor belt. We want it to go that direction. And then we want to rotate it that direction. And I think I have one last, and then we'll be all set. So I think we are finally in business. We've got everything hooked up. We've got all of our conveyors. We've got all of our pipes sorted. We've got all our ember stuff that should be working. So let's go up here and toss in lots of copper. We'll throw in all of our copper. So that should all be working. Let's jump down here. We should see lots of things all going at once. It has to first melt, so it takes a little bit to start up. Awesome. We got all of our embers flowing. Uh, these guys here are not yet filled with ember, but I think that's a matter of time. But it is all working. Awesome. Well, with all of the uh, melting and stamping going on in the background, I think this is a good wrapping up point. Um, like I said, we got all the... that's all set up, but I still need to figure out the actual sorting to make sure it goes into the proper ender chest and all that stuff. 
But I think that will be a thing for the next episode, or perhaps between episodes. Um, I also need to finish decorating in here. I'm not entirely sure the theme I want, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.